Abundant Energy in Harmony with Nature, Deforestation and Global Warming by Larry Hartwig, Zedmaster at ZeroEnergyDesign.com. Trees are wonderful photosynthesis systems. They take in harmful carbon dioxide, global warming, greenhouse gas, use sunshine to produce carbohydrates, and then they release pure oxygen. A medium-sized mature tree releases enough pure oxygen for a family of four. They draw water from the earth and provide evaporative cooling, which makes it cooler than just the shading effect. When trees are burned, that increases the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and reduces trees' ability to remove it. Fewer trees mean less oxygen and more global warming. About 2 billion people per day burn wood or biomass to cook and then heat their homes in the winter. This decreases the number of trees and Earth's ability to remove carbon dioxide. Soot from Asian fires now covers the Arctic and is accelerating our delicate ice cap snowmelt rate. This sad photograph shows what used to be a biologically diverse forest. Slash and burn techniques are used to clear precious rainforests for urban development and to grow sugarcane for biofuel, forever exterminating very valuable biodiversity. The yellow line shows the explosive growth of Earth's human population. The sad green line shows the corresponding decline in billions of acres of healthy forests. More people mean fewer trees. This is a trend that cannot be sustained. As technology for eliminating trees progressed from axes and saws to chainsaws and now logging machines that can destroy 170 trees per hour, humans have become forest destruction experts, irreversibly eliminating biodiversity and Earth's ability to remove CO2 from the atmosphere and release pure oxygen. Think about the impact of a smaller population of humans on the earth in the past. Much of ancient Persia and southern Europe were once lush green forests. After thousands of years of human deforestation, we have destroyed many ancient forests. America is now doing the same thing in only hundreds of years, and the mechanization of forest destruction has greatly accelerated the process. No rational modern commercial builder would even consider using wood to frame a building. Wood simply costs way too much. But non-learning residential builders are completely clueless. Alternatives to building with wood are far superior to wood in many different ways. We must all become extreme tree huggers very quickly. There is absolutely no reason to use wood in any modern building other than bad habit, status quo, business as usual by non-learning builders. There are now dozens of excellent, environmentally sustainable, low-cost, superior, more durable building systems available than to use wood in any building. A few simple examples include rammed earth or solar-fired bricks, shotcrete or spray-on concrete over expanded polystyrene foam plus steel reinforcing, insulated concrete forms, poured concrete walls, and the recycled car steel metal frame with built-in 5-inch thick expanded polystyrene foam. What can and will you do to plant or save a tree that cleans our air and gives you life. We need a clean, renewable, environmentally sustainable future. Abundant energy in harmony with nature. We must do everything we possibly can to stop unsustainable, deadly, devastating deforestation. We discuss many of the details on ZeroEnergyDesign.com and PassiveSolarEnergy.info.